Hello everyone, welcome back to Free King Productions. I am of course Lacan the Hitman. And we got a new little series going along. The Feed the Beast just did not want to cooperate with my computer. This mod pack seems to go a little bit better. It's a hexic heck it. Sorry. Think of the old game Hexic. Uh Hexen, whatever. Whatever the hell it's called. Anyways. I'm here playing this new one. Came out not long ago. I figured I'd give it a shot. Do a nice little survival playthrough, I think. It's got, it adds a lot of cool mods to it. One of my favorite we're about to find out in a second. But it's... It's technically... It's not like the Tekkit pack, even though it goes through the Tekkit launcher and all. Because, for one, it's not all about technology. It's about pretty much adventuring. Which is quite cool in my opinion. I would rather have that. As you can see we already have a new type of wood right there. That's actually really cool that they made it where it does actually follow the wood type. And you all are about to see my favorite aspect of this. I've been playing around with it a little bit earlier. So I'm still just learning this pack. But hold up, I had to set up a few things, so let's set it to Dawn. Let's see what difficulty we're playing. We need to play on easy. Now, one of the best qualities of this. Oops, if I can get the right one. Hit the bottom one of this, and the whole tree falls. I'm going to make it nice and easy to get this thing started up right. Now, I do have plans on trying, emphasis on trying, to make my own mod pack. I just gotta get all the permission from everyone and everything, and those slimes don't look friendly at all. Hello, what is this? Looks like a trap. Let's get this down right here. Oh, it won't let me cut down the trap one. So then, something tells me the moment I get that, all that log is going to fall down. Yup. Okay. Screw that. That tree is about to catch fire. Oh, we're in a nice little maple forest, it seems. So let's go ahead and no. I think I want to head over to there to that village. Hello, what are you? Blueberries. Let's get these bushes up. Now, according to my mini map, there's a nice little. Hold up one sec. There's a nice little village up there, and I think we'll take some refuge there for the night. It's close enough to forest that I'll be able to get some trees and all. To start up my own little place, but pardon the lack of focus. I'm trying to focus. I really am trying. It's just not working. There's so much crap in this. Hey, it's a bird. The tension span. Ow. Let's get over here. Let's get a few more trees on the way by. 
looks like a nice little horse. Now, I really, be honest, don't know much about this. I played around with it a little bit earlier. Just to check out what the new items are and all. And there are some really cool items. And this is really deep. Let's get over to this town. Parkour. I hate it. Son of a. I hate parkour with a passion, people. If you want to watch me get really pissed really fast, have me play, suggest a parkour map to me. Yeah, you might enjoy watching me cuss and all, but. I don't find parkour all that enjoyable. Please don't break all the wood. Thank you. How am I even supposed to get in these houses? This is like one of the worst places to put a village. Oh, the sw there's the well. How did they have the well set up here? Oh, that's quite comical. Huh. Let's just go ahead and get started building us a nice little house over here. It looks like this village is going to be absolutely useless to us. Hello, what is this? Free items. Cool. Uh, lag. Get out of here. Piece of crap computer. You can't when you play a time play a game with a piece of crap computer. So then, take a quick little survey of the place. Everything looks pretty good here. Got some decent protection if I have to. Get over to the village. Wait, that's how I entered? I don't see a blacksmith in that village is the only issue I wish there was because that's what I really want to get to so I can get some good gear for free this for me I think a house would be a good start yes this is the lovely building episode people where we build ourselves a cheap little house. Alright. Would have sworn I had more wood than this. Quick little house right here. We don't want anything really that fancy. Just want something we can put a bed in. <coughs> Off to a great start. 
Is it? Oh, so. What is that? What is that glowing thing over there? Alright, the sun's starting to go down. I'm thinking, don't have enough time to really set up a house. At least get much of anything set up. So, we shall fail at parkour as usual. Double clicking is a bitch. Anyone who has a low quality computer knows the pain I'm going through at the moment when it comes to trying to play Minecraft. Where's the door? Is there no door? That's fine, we don't want that house anyways. I'm just trying to make it a little easier on the villagers while we're here. I think my goal will be to make this the town's life better we shall integrate ourselves into the town and become them with a shitty ass walkway that just like changes colors halfway through to this nasty ass pink wood oh, man, god that pink wood is awful where is the damn entrance? Hey, look right across there is that is this blacksmith we're looking for what do you trade for anyways what do you want really emeralds for six and these emerald shards do not count as emeralds people wow those suck What am I doing? We're making some sticks. I am so sorry for how slow this is to start. <laughs> and I really don't have much conversation to talk about. <laughs> I am a terrible host when it comes to this shit. Damn. It will, I will get better, I promise. I have. What am I missing? I need a sword. Yes, we hide here. Now what I could do is, I've done this in another one, where I literally just built a house on the roof of one of these houses. Which is quite enjoyable and funny as hell at the same time, so... I might actually do that. Villager, I know I'm supposed to make you happier. Drowned. 
There's a lot of nice glowing shit. I got an apple and saplings. Really? Normally these places have really good hauls. This one just kind of has crap. Alright. One, two, three. One, two. Uh huh. So, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Take that, put that there, put you there. Now we'll be able to have some torches at least. You know what? I think I'm going to take over this blacksmith house. There's a spider around here. Ooh. Glowstone. Oh, we have a nice chest to put some junk in. Let's put all our crap in there. Partly cotton candy, really. I have yet to grow any of that. I am very curious about what it's going to look like when I grow it. So let's go ahead and get started on our endeavors into this new mod. We have wood now. Now then, you start off with this book called Materials and You. Yes, very creative. Getting started. Welcome to the first edition of Materials and You. Yada yada yada. Within these pages, you will find the first steps to make the tools and materials you need to survive. Okay. By the way, people, I have not read this book yet. I've messed around with this, again, just to play around with what they added. Never even read anything. So, this book is a magic copy. It updates whenever the original has been modified. Check back occasionally for information on new things. Cool. The first step in making tools is crafting a blank pattern. Is a bank slate to blank slate to stamp a shape into, provide a reference for future creations. The patterns are shaped on the stencil table or are used as tabletops. Okay. You can then shape a material in a part builder with the pattern, then combine parts in the tools section. Okay. Blank pattern. sketching table okay well actually before we do anything else let's take a look at what else they have okay good thing I saved one of them a one two three four of those okay do I have enough sticks I do one two three four one two Three, four. I really hate this pink wood. Uh, so let's put one of you down, one of you on top. We have a stencil. We have a new book. Cool. I have no more wood. Shit. Alright, we have those till I actually have some real wood, which I want to go exploring to make one. I can't do anything with that. Let's take a look at what this second book is. Materials in you. Volume 2 by Skyla. 
Okay. Tools, materials, and modifiers. Okay, welcome to the second edition of the book Guide to Tools and Abilities. Within these pages, you will find details on every known tool, modifier, and material. A detailed breakdown of everything known and a few unknown lies here. This book is a magic copy. It updates you at the end. Okay. Oh, pickaxe. You actually get to make them from scratch. Kind of cool. Basic mining tool. We all know what that is. Proficient tool. Effective. Oh, it even tells you what's effective on. That's awesome. So, stones or rocks, ores and metals. We know that. Shovel, dirt, sand, gravel, and snow. Okay. How to make one. The hatchet's basically... An axe, wood leaves, and trees. Okay. Mal Matok. What the? This is a versatile farming tool. Primary purpose is to till soil. It also works somewhat like an axe and a shovel, but is not a replacement for either. Okay, so it's a shitty version of a shovel and it. And an axe, but it also tills up the soil, so that's pretty good. Now we get to the cool stuff. We get to the weapons. Oh, apparently. Broadsword is a defensive weapon. It is a favorite of many tankers and, and is useful in a wide variety of situations. Okay, right click blocks. Blocking cuts a wide variety of damage types in half. Cool. Melee weapon effective ones. On webs, okay, awesome. Longsword is an effective offensive weapon. It's used for full speed charges and plowing through enemy lines. Lunge, hold that down. Release with right click. Lunges at breakneck speed. Cool. Natural ability charge boost. It does 1.5 da times damage and knocks back while sprinting. Cool. <sighs> the rapier. Uh, Dancing sword play lets you get in and out of battle quickly while the rapier's damage is low. It makes up for this with its other abilities. Back pedal takes small hop back when charged. Cool. Armor piercing ignores armor and blocking. That's awesome. Quick strike the enemy is stunned for at least for less time. Okay. Dagger. You can throw your daggers. That. Um, we might have to make us some daggers, people. I am thinking we will need daggers. It's a weapon you, that uses sheer weight to stun a frying pan. Stun foes are place to cook your food. It is common to hunt pigs and cook th them with the same pan. You can block to cut damage. Uh, shift right click places item that can can cook a large rock. Nice. Battle sign. What? That is cool. So this is a good way for us to be spending the night. Just learning all our tools and all. Uh, blocks. It can block. Material traits. Some materials have traits that augment their natural ability. Enforce. Ten times... 10% chance per level of not using durability. Um, stone bound, the tool mines faster as it wears out, but does less damage. Spiny, the tool mines, does more damage as it wears out, but mines slower. Writable, one extra modifier for a piece. Awareness, unknown. Good. Oh wow, it's breaking down what everything is. Alright, mining speed, full tool. 59 okay stone better much better comes with the stone bound reinforce level one okay you can make tools out of flint that's awesome And cactus. That's really cool too. We're going to have to figure out how to do this because this is going to be fun. Bone weapons. 
Obsidian. Only 71 for Obsidian. It's fragile. You wouldn't think that because of how hard it is to mine the damn shit. Alan Colin Ally, it seems to be quite durable. Yeah, that looks durable. Mining level Cobalt. Cobalt has its own mining level. Damn. Reinforce. This is made of what? Netherrack. Not bad durability. Just gonna be a bitch to get. Blue slime. Holy shit. Not much damage, but... Damn. Durability. We might have to go hunt some slimes. Slimy mud. And that's how you get those. Okay. Paper. We can make paper tools. Okay. Oh, nice. Emerald. Uh, nice. Auto repair. Let to find some of that stuff. Auto smelting. How do I get a lava crystal? Sharpness, quartz says sharpness. Sets enemies on fire. Life steel. We might have to go get some weather skulls too. Uh, allows blocks to be harvested directly. Huh. Silk cloth. Gold nugget. Damn. It's expensive. Available from industrial craft, too. We don't have industrial craft, so that sucks. Uh, okay, that's how you make a ball of moss. Lava crystal. That's going to be a bitch. And that's the end of the book. Uh huh. So then we need to start setting up our place. If we are serious about turning this place into our house, which I am. I need to start placing down some things. Excellent. Not so excellent. I can't put wood back there. I have to put this. Damn it. Hello, spider. Back here. Okay. So we know that's where the spiders are, but why did it run from us? Almost as if it was scared. That was kind of cool. Yada yada yada. Oh, cool. I guess I could snipe from that right here. So then. Uh, okay, there's the tool section. Chisel. Chisel a utility tool that carves carves shapes into blocks. Cool. There's the frying pan. Okay. There is that. And 
<laughs> as that scares the shit out of me. Unfortunately, our time is up, and I know this has been a very boring episode. The sun's just starting to come up, too. So this has not been a very fun episode. But it's our starting episode, so. How do I do this? I have no idea how to use the pattern. I'm going to do some research on this. But I hope you all enjoyed. I've been Lacan the Hitman. This is just episode one. As we all know, the beginning episodes are always the most boring of these startup survivals. So, thank you all for watching. And stay free to my friends. Peace out.